30 minutes per hour, which is against the law. And you're going to find somebody wants to go faster than you. <laughs> you think it's a joke? <laughs> it is true. There is always somebody who will try to exceed you. So don't try to iron you with men out of things you may not understand. Amen. But we have an understanding that is not based on science, but it's based on faith in the Word of God. Through faith, we understand it's going to be all right. Yes. And through faith, we know that it is all right. Amen. All right, let's turn to James now. James, you're talking about faith, right? Amen. Good. After Hebrews is James. James chapter 2. Do you believe the devil has it? <laughs> All right. How many of you believe the devil has it? All right. Let's see what the word says. All right. James chapter 2. Let's go from uh, verse 14, I think. All, all the people that have faith, put your hands up. Don't be ashamed now. I'm not trick, trying to trick you. Put your hands up. Keep it up. All who have faith, put it up high. Come on. Put it up high. Good. We all have faith. But we said that faith is a, is a tangible thing, right? It, it's not mere words. It's not just saying, I have faith. Right? Even the devil can say that. Good. All right. So let's, let's read. What profit... What does it profit, my brethren? Do a man say he has faith and have not works? Can faith save him? That's a, that's a strange question, but it's, it's being asked in the word. Hmm? Can faith save him? And the Bible says that we are saved by grace through faith. That's how we save. For with the heart man believe it unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto what? Salvation. Right? Good. But let's read on. If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be warm and filled, notwithstanding. You give them not those things which are needed or needful to the body. What do it profit? Even so, faith, if it had not worked, is dead being alone. Now, I want, I want us to stop there for a moment. Hello? Do we understand what the Bible just said? Somebody come to you and they, they're hungry to eat for three days. You know the hungry guy could come the ribs. You could see through the t-shirt. <laughs> you could see it through the t-shirt. Even though the shirt is an extra, extra large, you could still see it. <laughs> right? And it's so often they come at a time when you're just baking some bread. Some nice bread, it's hot. <laughs> and you just put a butter on top of it. And it's smelling. And they come and they're telling you, about the situation and you cannot be so fast you the, the conversation can't finish fast enough you want them to leave and then you tell them the bible says you're a man and a woman of faith yes. my sister my brother you're going to prophesy now be filled <laughs> and go warm and it's cold outside you just come with, a, with an oversized t-shirt. And you got a lot of coats. We know, you, we know you, we, the first one you open the, the closet is the one that you just bought from Macy's. And nobody can get in that. <laughs> but you're a man of faith. You can, you can speak the mountains. 
and you can speak the conditions in people's lives and see them healed. But yet you see your sister or your brother broken. Right? And you just prophesy into somebody's life and see the situation change. But the prophecy you need to prophesy this time is an actual one. You need to go into your cupboard, get out some rice. Are you listening to me? You need to go and get your checkbook and write them a check. That's the kind of faith you need to exhibit. Not just saying, I have faith that I can speak and move mountains. Even the devil will tell you that. But faith is an active, actionable something. And when faith is an operation, we get results. Let's read on. Even so, verse 17, faith, if it have not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man said, thou hast faith, and I have works. We can contrast it too now. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. So you just said to, you, a, a brother just came to your house, and you are full of the Holy Ghost. You are a deacon in the church. You are an elder in the church. You might be the pastor of the church. And you said to them, Go, be warm and well fed. And when they left your house, a drunk man at the corner, see the person in need, put his hand in his pocket, give them $500, and said, Go and buy. What's your need? Which one is an exhibit? I said, sees a condition it does something about it when faith sees a need faith moves you didn't hear me I said when faith sees a need faith moves faith don't wait for anybody to propel it to do what is right faith does what is right because faith, motivated, is motivated by love. Yeah. And who is love? God. God is love. For God so love that he gave. God gave to you and me when we were in the gutter. We're looking nice now. Then they had the manicure and the pedicure. <laughs> And you men went to the podiatrist. <laughs> All of that is good. But that's not where God found us. When he found us, we were like Master Willie. Rolling in the mud. And God came right down there. And picked us up. We're looking good today. Nobody can remind us of our past because we've arrived. We've made it. And we forget about everybody else that we pass along the way. There's an old saying in life. Be careful how you treat folks when you're going up. You ever heard that statement? Be careful when you're going up how you treat folks. Because old people say on your way down you're going to still pass those same folks climbing up while you're heading down. Those are lessons for us to learn in life. Don't get too big for your boots and for your socks. Sometimes we get bigger than our boots. Remember. Remember. 
remember, life is real. God is real. And we are faced with real circumstances in this life. Let us show kindness to one another. Love to one another. Let me tell you something about love. It says faith work it by love. Whatever is done in love can be done in the open. It ain't got to be done in secret. Hello? God don't do things in secret. Whatever God does is done in the open. For God so loved that he what? He gave. I know there's certain things that need to be done privately. I understand that. Don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about that. But if you got to be clandestine about doing something good, then something is wrong with what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? If you got to be clandestine about doing something good, then what you're doing is wrong. It's premised on the wrong facts. Let your light so shine that men may see your good works and glorify who? Your Father, which is in heaven.